gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, Dub Nation. Welcome back to another Road Trade Entertainment Warriors post-game live report. Before we get into it, if you guys haven't already, hit that like, hit that sub and notification bell for more Warriors post-game reports and Warriors previews right here at Road Trade Entertainment. And go some of the sports series where you'll find all Warrior live streams this year. The Warriors win tonight's final in the NBA Finals rematch. Final score, Warriors win it 123-109. to oh, not 107. Celtic fans, GG's. This game was, uh, I'm not going to say it was really close. The Warriors pretty much just dominated all game long. The Celtics, Jason Tatum just was a bum tonight, man. He was what? 6-21 at 18.7 rebounds. But he was standing still on rebounds. Every shot he took was off the back iron. He was just, he looked scared out there. Overshooting everything. Turning the ball over. Fouling on the other end. I don't know what Tatum was up to tonight. Blake Griffin. He was really solid tonight. 13.7 rebounds. 13-5, and 3 for Marcus Smart. 31-9-3 and three for Jalen Brown. He really took over in the third and in the fourth quarter to get the Celtics <coughs> back into the game a couple times. But nobody else really helped him. Malcolm Brogdon was fine tonight. 16 points, 5 rebounds, 4 assists. But outside of really Malcolm Brogdon and Jalen Brown, you know, Blake Griffin was fine, like I said. They really get him much help. Jason Tatum, if he shows up, this is a different ball game. But the Warriors, just like they did in the NBA Finals, were able to control him. They were able to contain him, not let him go off. Instead, they let Jalen Brown go off, just like he did during the NBA Finals. So there's just something about the Warriors that either Tatum just can't get past, or maybe the Warriors just know the formula to stop and slow down Jason Tatum. Celtics shot 43% as a team, only 30% for downtown. They were only 12 of 40, so yikes. Not only that, they missed seven free throws tonight. Seven free throws. They were getting out-rebounded by the Warriors on the boards. They were getting out-hustled and out-energied. Celtics came in the Golden State. You know they wanted revenge for losing the finals, but man. They sure didn't look like it. Besides Jalen Brown, it didn't look like the team didn't give a fuck tonight, man. But, um, no GG sucked it, fans. Like I said, it wasn't really that close. Uh, the only, the only quarter the Warriors got scored was the highest scoring quarter, 38-35 in the second. And that was it. Celtics tried to come back a couple times. But all three of the Warriors kept pushing it back up. For the Golden State Warriors, this is hands down one of the best Wins of the year. Once again, Andrew Wiggins was out due to a growing strain. But it didn't matter, man. They were able to put up 123 against the 12th best defense in the league, man. Just incredible. Draymond Green had 11-4-2. Kavon Looney, I love this guy so much, man. 7 points, 15 rebounds, and 3 assists. This guy is just... Every game, man, he just continues to hustle and get boards. Stephen Curry, 32, 6, and 5. 6 of 11 for downtown, man. Just brilliant. But for me, the play of the game is Kuya Clay. Headband Clay. 34 points, 5 rebounds, 2 assists for Clay Thompson, man. He was on it from the start all the way to the end. Clay Thompson was brilliant. 20 points, 4 assists, 3 rebounds. JP continues to score 20 or more points. I think that's what, 5 or 6 games straight. He has scored 20 or more points. Now he was 1 of 9 for downtown. What he was efficient at was driving in, getting the foul, getting to the line. He shot 10 free throws. So just JP, when the 3 ball's not working, he's so good. I just hitting the crossover and getting straight to the rack. So, JP, again, like I said, another 20-point performance for him. Just continue, man, to get better and better. It was great to see Clay 
Trey, uh, not Trey, I'm sorry. Clay Thompson, Steph Curry, and Jordan Poole all start together again tonight and really all play pretty well. Jonathan Kaminga. This guy is special, folks. He just continues to get better and better and better. Every single game tonight, he was amazing. 14 points, 5 rebounds, 3 assists, 6 and 9 from the field. Nice. Not only that, he had a poster dunk. Excuse me. <coughs> he had a poster dunk on Jason Tatum tonight. He brought it inside. Went up, lost the ball, got it back, turned around, bang! He's got a family, man! Postered! Jason Tatum. So shout out to Jonathan Kaminga, man. It seems like every single game, the dude's just improving. He continues to get better. I'm so excited how he's going to produce for the rest of the season, man. Especially when Wiggins is back and he's able to be one of our main guys off the bench. Dante DiVincenzo only scored three points but had eight rebounds. It was a plus 20 off the bench for Golden State, man. That's awesome. Nobody else really did much off the bench. Warriors shot 51% as a team, 33% for downtown. Missed four free throws. So the Warriors, on a night where you're facing the team with the best point differential, shout out to Josh for the stats, uh, have the best point differential, the 12th best defense, you're the fourth best offense. And yeah, you go out there, you put up 123 points. You know, you're the 26th worst defense. You only allow 107 points to the best team in the league. Warriors now back over 500. They are 12 and 2 at home. And despite that loss and Utah, the Warriors continue to look like the Warriors every single game. Dumb Nation. Now it's time to embark on a big-ass road trip. The Warriors will not return home for 15 days. The next time the Warriors play a home game will be Christmas against the Memphis Grizzlies. And it starts on Tuesday with the Milwaukee Bucks. We've been getting our asses kicked in Milwaukee. We beat it in Milwaukee in Golden State the last two years. We've gone to Milwaukee. And absolutely getting our ass kicked the last two years. So, Warriors just got to play the brand of basketball. I mean, you're not going to stop Giannis. You're not going to stop Lopez. That's going to be tough to stop them. The Warriors' offense cannot be missing on Tuesday. They're going to put up over 120 points. The Warriors going to have to put up over 120 points, man. But tonight was very impressive, man. It was a win the Warriors needed to stay Above 500, man. Uh, it was impressive without Wiggins. I was I was worried. Where was our scoring? It could have come from outside of Clay and Steph. Where it came from Kaminga at 14. It came with Jonathan, uh, Jordan Poole. <coughs> with 20 points. So, hey, Dub Nation, you got to feel good about this win. Warriors continue to own the Boston Celtics. Aw. They continue to own Justin, uh, Jason Tatum. Aw. But, hey. Pray win tonight. Let me know you guys' thoughts and comments below on the win. And again, make sure you guys hit that like, sub, and notification bell right here in Roche Entertainment and go sub in the sports area where you guys will find Warrior Streams all season long. Guys, we'll see you on Tuesday for Warriors and Bucks. It's going to be exciting. I'll see you here on Tuesday for the post game report and Tuesday morning for the uh, preview video as well. All right, guys, thank you for watching this video. Great win for the Warriors. Celtics just looked stagnant. They looked just not into the game. No energy. But Dub Nation, let's get the game. Let's keep it rolling, baby. On the road. This is a big test for us. You know how bad we've been on the road. So let's see what we can do. Warriors come out to play. All right, Dub Nation. I'll see you guys on Tuesday on the Sports Series channel. And let's keep it rolling, baby. All right, guys. See y'all later. And the champs do it again, baby. Let's go. Bye, guys.